behind Clinton at that rally, and it got, what was it, just over a minute of coverage on the major networks on Tuesday night versus seven and a half minutes to Trump's remarks? Was that fair? I really don't think the two stories are comparable. Well, certainly the media in the past have been guilty, the crooked media, as Donald Trump now calls us, of taking small Trump controversies and blowing them up into major firestorms. In this case, uh, it is Trump's own words that created uh, this controversy. I don't believe he was trying to incite violence against Hillary Clinton, but at the same time, even a generous interpretation would suggest uh, that he said something a that generous interpretation. Also inflammatory, raising questions about his discipline as a candidate. Now, I don't see how Hillary Clinton can be held responsible for the fact that at a public event attended by 3,000 people, uh, this guy, the father of the mass murderer, shows up. Wait a minute, what do you mean? I mean, Katie, I want to get you in here because I want to get to the core of Donald Trump's words and, and how you perceive them before we talk about the media coverage. How did you perceive that remark for the second letter? Well, quickly, I think it's important to point out that Omar Pate Mateen's father actually has supported the Taliban in the past, so that's a whole other issue. But in terms of Donald Trump's comments, he was absolutely referring to Second Amendment voters going out and mobilizing against Hillary Clinton. And this is well documented within the NRA. The NRA has entire campaigns dedicated to moving voters to the polls. They have bumper stickers that say, mm -hmm. I am the NRA. leftist media and Hillary Clinton herself would take a comment about Second Amendment people, as Trump said, and immediately think that he's referring to violence because the media has portrayed Second Amendment supporters as violent and uh, unhinged gun nuts for decades, even though there's no evidence to well, support it's their claims. that the left is, is, is using the word like assassination <laughs> attempt right. in there. Uh, that being said, Hillary Clinton had one of these moments herself that Hillary 2008 Bobby Kennedy assassination remark. Howie, I know you have thoughts on this. Let's listen to that and talk about why that was different. We're going to go over and watch My husband did not wrap up the nomination in 1992 until he won the California primary um, somewhere in the middle of June, right? We all remember Bobby Kennedy was assassinated in June in California. Uh, I, I, you know, I just, I don't understand it. And, you know, there's lots of speculation about why it is. Okay, so Howie, Clinton did later apologize for those remarks. Did that make it different that time? Because the media quickly moved on. Yeah, I mean, there was, I mean, cover this campaign, that campaign, there was a media furor over that rather dumb and insensitive remark bringing up Bobby Kennedy's assassination, but it was her apology that stopped the fire from raging more out of control. I do think the tsunami of coverage over Trump's remarks, whether you think that they were, um, you know, in any way, way suggesting implicitly violence or not, um, has affected and overshadowed one important story, and it's the story you led with. It's yeah. the story about the emails about sure. the Clinton Foundation and look at the State Department, not so much that this whack job of a father of a killer showed up uninvited at a public event. So we do know that uh, Donald Trump's campaign continues to go after the media. The Trump campaign statement uh, issued yesterday, Katie. Trump campaign statement on dishonest media. So he is, uh, he's not letting go of this one. Well, and that's fine, and I will uh, admit that I think Donald Trump has done himself a disservice by indignantly uh, standing by all of his past statements that could be perceived as inciting violence, talking about protesters being taken out on a stretcher, talking about maybe shooting someone at Fifth Avenue and still having support. Those in the background does not help him with these comments. But again, this isn't about Trump um, and the Second Amendment. This is about the media and Democrats like Hillary Clinton equating Second Amendment people and supporters with violence, yeah. which is exactly They did. Angela got a $3 million ad buy attacking Clinton as a hypocrite, calling her out of touch. All right. Howie and Katie, good to have you both tonight. Thank you.